found a real good example of uh, Steven Anderson hypocrisy. If you want to see hypocrisy, Anderson pretty much corners the market on that. And uh, it's so funny how way back years ago he was, you know, I can't say he always preached it, but uh, you know, he said the right thing about the Godhead, what the Bible teaches. And then years later he's quoting Roman Catholic doctrine about the Trinity. Let's uh, watch a little bit of this. It's pretty entertaining, I think. There's the soul, the spirit, and the body. Part of that is in heaven. Part of that is buried in the earth. Would it be accurate to say Stephen Anderson is buried in the earth? If I were, yes. Because that's where my body is, and that body represents Stephen Anderson. That's, I mean, it's not anyone else. You know, my wife, I come and identify the body, not to be morbid or anything, but, you know, pull back the seat and say, yes, this is my husband. Okay? That's me. But it's not all of me. It's just the body. The soul and spirit are up in heaven. Same thing with God. God is in three, just like the three are one. Spirit, soul, and body make up one person. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost make up one God. And there was even a separation that took place where the Father is up in heaven, right? The body's down here on earth. Jesus Christ, the Son, was down here physically on this earth. There was a time when Jesus Christ's soul was in hell. His body was in the tomb. The Father is up in heaven. It's all the same person. Mm -hmm. So if we can under I don't think anybody has a problem understanding the separation, excuse me, the separation of soul and body and spirit at death. Everybody understand that? So how can we not understand that God is made up in a similar format of basically a Father, Son, and Holy Ghost that make up one person? Okay, so, you know, again, we may not fully comprehend it, but that's just because we're human, and God's on a different level than us. <clears throat> but we still believe it, don't we? Okay. <laughs> I just, again, you know, I'm getting called a heretic by people like this, and it's just like, See, he's being told what to preach and what to say and things like that. You know, it's just kind of funny. Um, but then, see, here's a more recent one. Okay, this is just a little bit ago, July 10th, 2017. The other one was 2011, so six years ago. Now listen to what he says. Okay, and keep in mind, I'll just show you here, Catholic Trinity, okay, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, you know, is not the Father. The Son is not the Father. The Father is not the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not the Son. They're all just God. You know, you get the trichature there. Uh, again, Catholic Trinity is a pagan trinity. So, but listen to what he says here. Air ...of why the devil is doing this and why this strange doctrine is creeping in. We need to understand that Jesus is the Son of God, but the Father is not the Son. The Son is not the Father. The Holy Ghost is not the Father. These three together collectively compose one God, but that one God is in three persons. That's the traditional doctrine of the Trinity. That's what we need to stand on and not try to compromise it and, and meet these oneness Pentecostals halfway. We need to stay strong on the traditional, biblical, tested view of the Trinity that every Baptist has believed in for hundreds and hundreds of years. And, 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 you know, they... <laughs> he didn't even believe in it six years ago. But, of course, you know, he trips all over the place, you know, things. And, uh, but, you know, I just find that interesting. Here he's ripping on the Pentecostals and comes out and explains the Godhead correctly according to the scriptures. Here he comes and he's attacking Pentecostals again, but yet he's teaching the Catholic Trinity. That the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, That uh, you know, but they're all God. They're three separate distinct just like this, right here. And again, you know, you're a supporter of Stephen Anderson. I'll ask you again, is this the Godhead right there? Is that an accurate depiction? Maybe slightly different the way they would look and whatever, but is that what it looks like? Three separate, completely separate beings in heaven? Yet they're somehow one God? Hypocrite. Total hypocrite. I mean... Just like to thank you, Stephen, because you have never, you know, let me down in terms of uh, of entertainment and things like that. I mean, if I want to find false doctrine, I know I can always count on you 
to provide it for me. So just wanted to thank you there, Stephen. I mean, it's just, I've been able to teach the truth quite a bit by showing the errors that you teach. Okay, so that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.